So we're going to go with Makoto Kamasaki. Oh, wait a minute, we're going to go back. We're going to change uh, my name real fast. <laughs> name settings. I named her I'm Horny, so I'm not going to name her that anymore. I'm going to make her my name, Meta Horcrux. Oh. Okay, can't even spell my own name, Meta Horcrux. Yeah, I remember, it couldn't. It couldn't do all of it. Yeah, that's right. So, how about we just do, um... We're just gonna do meta, and then the last name will be Horcrux. Sorry, I can't spell today, apparently. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, now that we changed that, let's go to the main story. We're going to with Makoto. And let's see, main volume, chapter one. Let's get it going. My memories of him. Ooh. So this is supposed to be your childhood um, friend. Meta. I think I'll go with Kamasaki. I'm not sure if he remembers me or not, but... It's been such a long time, and I want to catch up with him since we're here together. Okay, quick backstory. You're, you have a rich aunt that's hired you to basically house sit, and she has these three idols. One of them's your childhood friend, the one we chose, Makoto, and you're supposed to um, train them to be a butler. I mean, or, you know, make sure that they're doing their job. And I was like... This is stupid because she doesn't know anything about taking care of a house. At least your character that is you doesn't know how to take care of a house. It's like, how is she going to train somebody to do that? But, you know, it's a game. Whatever. Let's play. But that's the backstory. So now we're here and I picked, I picked my butler. It's been such a long time and I want to catch up with him since we're here together. Huh? <laughs> Just like any typical, you know, any typical straight guy. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Kamasaki opened his eyes in surprise at hearing my decision. Uh, okay. He's, he's like, I hope you were gonna pick me. Right. <laughs> Get over it. You'll love it. Then he nodded awkwardly. How do you nod aw Like he went... Like he's having a stroke. <laughs> I understand. I look forward to serving. You don't look like you look forward to it, but I don't care. You get to serve me. That's my decision. What? That's it? He he would have said more if he remembered me, right? Oh yeah, she's not sure if he remembers her. Okay. Has he really forgotten about me? I guess I can't blame him. It has been a long time. Hey, you got chosen over us, and that's your reaction? Unbelievable. <laughs> you could be a little more honest with yourself and smile a little, Kamasaki. <laughs> that's his face. Yeah, I make the same face when somebody asks me to smile. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm not happy or anything. Well, that much is clear. You have no personality, it looks like. Not in the least. You gotta have personality for me to like you, so I don't like you either. I don't know why I chose you now. And yet your face was as red as a tomato the entire time you said that. Oh, that's not true! I'm really not happy at all. Kind of said he didn't look happy as he ever... Well, he doesn't look like anything. He doesn't look sad. He just looks stoic. That's how he looks. His, as he averted his eyes away from me. Huh? Is Kamasaki really acting like this? Isn't he supposed to be an actor? I mean, he's just one-dimensional at this point. Kamasaki, you're insulting Miss Meta. Yes, you are insulting me, mister. I mean, get me, give me, give me a refill, okay? As long as you reside in this mansion, you are simply a butler that follows Miss Meta's order. See, this guy gets it. I should have chose him. Okay, Kirishima, Kirishima, come through, okay? Let's see, it'll be a problem if you don't choose your words wisely. 
Oh no, so I was so happy. Oh, I get a choice. I was so happy to see him, and I'm not happy about I am not that happy about that. I'm gonna put I am not that happy about this situation. You can tell me he's my personal butler. I'm not happy about this situation. Look what you did. She's pouting now because she's because you said those rude things. You have to fess up and tell her that you were actually really happy to be chosen. Oh, now he has to tell me. And now it's just awkward. In the blink of an eye, Kamasaki's face turned so red it looked like he was about to burst. He was about to burst. Oh god, there's going to be bursting? <laughs> At least there'll be something. He is kind of red. I see it. I didn't. I have no intention of saying something like, I was so happy, I couldn't control myself. Bitch, it looks like you do nothing but control yourself. You're not doing anything. In any case, I've been chosen to be Miss Meta's butler, so all I need to do is take care of her from now on, right? Uh, uh, oh yeah. Yes, that's correct, but in that case, I'll start immediately. Kamasaki spoke quickly and left the room with haste. Well, I didn't even give him. I didn't even give him an order. He's the worst butler ever. Where I didn't even say, "Hey, go get me." I did say, "Go get me a refill," but that was in the video, not in the game. So, what kind of work do you plan on doing if you're leaving Miss Meta behind? Oh, to room, and then he grabbed my wrist for. He don't touch me. We're leaving Miss Meta. What the heck? Awake, Kamasaki, when I tried hard to resist him. I couldn't. No, <laughs> I won't let you get it. What? This is turning, like, creepy. Like, ugh. He whispered to me in a surprisingly, surprisingly low voice. Why is that surprising? Kamasaki gripped my wrist more tightly. Like, let go, you, you bastard. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> We're leaving. Well, okay. It, it hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Why is he being so pushy? Uh, he's not being pushy. He is being rapey right now. Like, let's go. I would have been like, get off me. And just like that, Kamasaki forcefully pulled me along. Ugh. What, why did Kamasaki blow his lid like that? Uh, we're not blowing nothing at this point. I mean, usually I like a little rough, but I don't know you. I hope nothing happens. Like what? Words that, well, I guess they're like, I hope he doesn't kill her. <laughs> this game is going to get a lot darker. Okay. Oh, I, I skipped that line, but that's all right. Let's get on. I'm sick of this room. Let's go somewhere else. Kamasaki. Kamasaki continued stomping onward as he held my wrist with an exceedingly large amount of force. Enough is enough. He He's too tall, so our strides are completely different. Not to mention, he's hard. No. <laughs> oh, Kamasaki's hand was big and rough and felt bony. Makes it sound like... <laughs> like he's about to... Okay, he held my wrist so tightly that it felt like he was going to give me a scar. A scar? Is he also digging his nails into you? Jesus. It hurts, and this is embarrassing. Hey, Kamasaki, haven't I told you that I won't let you get away from me? <sighs> it's not about that. My hand hurts. You're going to give me a bruise. Oh. After hearing my complaint, Kamasaki finally stopped. He looked a bit worried as he let go of my hand. Thanks for letting go of me, and now I'm calling the cops, okay? That would be the next step. It was nothing. We just arrived. This is your room, Miss Meta. Huh? Wow, this room is gorgeous. Ooh, it's worth the bruises. No. <laughs> this is my room? Now, now we're talking. I'm gonna live in this room for the next three. Okay, sold! Okay, goals. This room he taken, he's taken, he, okay, I, pff, the room he'd taken me to was so extravagant, it captivated me. Phew! 
I heard a small sigh from behind me. Uh, did he already rate me already? Like, <laughs> that was quick. Didn't even feel it. <laughs> um, I know you don't like working as my butler, but do you have to sigh like that? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's not it. I was... She, did you... I jizz in my pet. No, I was just a little nervous. Nervous? Why would you be nervous? Uh, for some reason his face got a little red. It's been red this whole time as he fixated his eyes on me. Well, why is he staring at me so intensely? He's not even... His eyes aren't even open. Kamasaki clumsily extended his hand toward me. So he clumsily... He went... <laughs> well, he certainly knew how to grab my wrist earlier. He brought it close enough to put it on my cheek. So if it's clumsily, he went... <laughs> and I'm like... Kamasaki? I called his name without thinking. Well, you've been calling his name this whole time. He started to look troubled. Meta. Huh? Why are you calling me that? What? Are you asking me why I'm calling you Kamasaki? It doesn't feel right when you call me that. Or are you calling me that because you don't remember me? Uh, that's not it. That's completely wrong. Of course I remember you. I mean, we used to play together all the time when we were younger. I moved away and we didn't see each other again. But before I knew it, he'd become an idol. <laughs> I've been really shocked when I'd seen him on TV. Meta. After hearing my words, Kamasaki stir started to look a little relieved. Now we can get to business. Yeah. <laughs> you looked at me like I was a stranger, so I thought you'd already forgotten about me. You're the one who looks like, like me. Okay, you're the one. That I, I am messing up these words. You're the one who looked at me like I was some kind of stranger. You didn't react at all, even after looking at my face. <laughs> I thought you already forgot about me, too. There's no way I could have done that. I haven't forgotten you, in fact, every day. Hmm? Uh, no, it's nothing. Kamasaki's ears became red. I see his ears are red now, okay? And he quickly looked away from me. More importantly, when you talk to me so formally, it makes me feel uncomfortable and I can't stay calm. Oh, so you want me to be familiar with you after all these years? Screw that. You're asking a You're off a offy. You're awfully <laughs> offy. You're awfully pushy for a butler. I mean, come on. Like, not even. I'd just be like, Get out of my sight. Get out. And bring in the other ones. Bring in that one that knew what he was doing. <sighs> okay, you should call me by my first name like you did when we were younger. And you should learn to shut up and get me a bad drink. I'm still waiting for it, by the way. Calling him by his first name just like we're young makes me happy too. <laughs> it makes me remember the, all the good times we had. And all the bad times, like the, what just happened. <laughs> Had been moved while, Makoto. Maybe that's why it's been too long, okay? Meta, can I ask you something? No. <laughs> sure, what is it? Why did you choose me instead of Kira and Yonikura? No particular. I was feeling nostalgic. No particular. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bitch because he has been nothing. He, he grabbed me. No particular reason. Even if he asked me that, I hadn't really thought about it very deeply. I'm being petty Betty is coming out right now. I contemplated on what I should tell him, but I decided to be honest with him. I didn't really have any particular reason. I just felt like it. That's it. You just felt like it? That's right, I just felt like it. It sounds like an argument that they're having. For some reason, Makoto spoke in a quiet voice. So this whole time he's been yelling at me? Okay. Is that so? I thought it would be better to pick someone I know rather than someone I just met. So that's it. Yeah, that's the only reason why you choose me. Hmm? Oh. No, it's nothing. I was talking to myself. 
Makoto, he looks kind of disappointed. No, I really don't mind. Depending on how I look at it, this could be my chance to take the lead. Take the lead and get out of there. <laughs> it's really hard to try and understand why he's trying to, what he's trying to tell me. What do you mean, take the lead? Uh, no, it's nothing. These people, like, they don't even know how to talk properly. I am not income. I am not competing with anyone or anything. It's my own personal problem. I really don't get it, but I'm sure he a lot has happened in the past few years. Well, it's fine. That's all I wanted to ask you. Okay. This is so troublesome. What's the matter? <laughs> 